this afternoon from Kemper Arena Championship Week. Brought to you by 7-Up Continues. And today, a jam-packed house for the Phillips 66 Big 12 Championship. It's the Sooners taking on the Cyclones. The top four seeds made it to the semis yesterday, but Oklahoma State and Texas went home. And today, it's Oklahoma and Iowa State. Hi, everybody. Rod Franklin along with John Sunbold. And welcome to Kansas City, Missouri, in what should be a really outstanding matchup this afternoon. Pfizer, we know a lot about Marcus. Nahara, we know a lot about him. But I think probably the matchup we need to talk about, John, is the Johnson boys, one for each team. It has right. made a definite difference as far as making it to the championship. Well, let's talk about Nolan Johnson first at Oklahoma. Last three ball games, over 19 points a game. Another offensive weapon. Not only that, he's a great defender. Stevie Johnson, let's not say garbage player, folks. He does everything about himself. 16 rebounds on the Friday win over Baylor. Yesterday against Oklahoma State, 21 points, 11 rebounds. He does everything on the floor. Now he scores points. This is the way the starting lineups are going to go today. First of all, for the Oklahoma Sooners, the number three seed in this tournament, Raymond Price Johnson Naha and Rinzai Stone, 31 points for Eduardo yesterday against the Texas Longhorns. And for the top seed, the Cyclones of Iowa State, Tinsley, Nurse, Horton as they go with the three-guard rotation, Stevie Johnson and Marcus Pfizer. Marcus with 19 points yesterday, 30 points in five of his last seven games. Well, without a doubt, the best offensive player in college basketball is Marcus Pfizer. You mentioned the 30 points. Average 33 coming into the tournament, started with 38 points on Friday night. Eduardo, the heart and soul of his Oklahoma team. It's not even an arguable thing. He just, that's the way it is. Marcus Pfizer, well, a lot of people in other parts of the country have not seen this young man play. He is a junior, and he really has come on for Iowa State in a way that I think maybe even the coaches are a little bit surprised. He is outstanding and quite a physical young fella at 6'8", 265 pounds. Tip will go to Pfizer. And it's Iowa State on offense first. Two outstanding defensive teams. They will mix, match it up. They will say man-to-man, -man, then they'll switch it sometime to a zone defense. It's Oklahoma team. We're starting now, man-to-man. The quick double team on Pfizer puts it on the floor and loses it. J.R. Raymond, Oklahoma. Raymond for three. Can light it up, but he misses on that one. Stone tried to chip it back, but it is Johnson who comes away with it. And bounce pass to Pfizer. Oh, he man. scores it, and he was fouled by, jo by Stone. The hands and the finish. The pass by Jamal Tinsley. They're all conference first team point guard. Iowa State loves to push the basketball. Not a very big team. Tinsley outstanding when he has it. Look at the bounce pass. More importantly, look at the catch and the finish. Well, I talked about the strength of uh, Pfizer, and there is a great example right there that Stone could not yank his arm away from the basketball. The young man plays with such a focus and a purpose on the floor. Rarely loses his concentration. Misses the free throw. But Iowa State goes on top, two to nothing. The officials today, veteran crew, Steve Welmer, the referee, Scott Thornley, and Tom O'Neill, the umpires in this one. Raymond must be careful with the basketball. Tinsley, quick game. Nurse against Price, pass inside, quick hands by Johnson, but taken right back for the Sooners. Stevie Johnson guarding Eduardo Nahara, tough matchup both ways. Shot clock under 10. Nahara with the reverse, and he'll knock down his first two of the afternoon. We have seen Eduardo lack some confidence late in this season scoring the basketball. Yesterday exploded with 31 already. Looked to take it to where he could score it in about the 10-foot race. And particularly in the second half of the game against Texas yesterday, his confidence seemed to really soar. Bouncer to Pfizer. Give the assist to Stevie Johnson, and very easy hoop for the Cyclone. Unselfish basketball. Oh, what a great matchup between these two clubs. Pfizer with the first four points of the afternoon for Iowa State. Almost stolen again, that time Nurse, and he does cause the turnover. Price couldn't hold on. And Ron, you understand when you watch Iowa State warm up, they will not impress you in warm ups. They have Pfizer at 6 8, and then everybody else is 6 4 and under. So you're not impressed until you watch them play. Defensively outstanding, they get after you. Offensively, they take the right shots at the right time. Well, you could see J.R. Raymond talking with his head coach, or listening as the case was right there, and getting an earful. He'll be back in shortly. Newton, number 20, in the lineup, replacing him. Pfizer can shoot it from outside. 
Tinsley, here's the guy. That ball touched by Naharan and missed by Stevie Johnson, but he touched it. Two turnovers, Iowa State. Strength of Iowa State is Tinsley with the ball getting to the paint. Rarely can any defender keep that young man out of the paint. Maybe the best ball handler in college basketball. You won't get any disagreement from any of the other 11 teams in the Big 12 Conference. Newton left alone, passed up the shot, drives it. Pfizer intimidates, can't get it to go. And Stone gets the rebound, but a whistle inside. Well, they met one time this year, north against south, won by Oklahoma in double overtime. And Raymond and Heskett with six three-point field goals each. Yeah, in that ball game, Heskett was a difference. Sooners led by as many as 16. A couple plays down the stretch. Iowa State had a chance to win. Tinsley missed a layup. Michael Nurse missed a free throw. Went to another overtime. And then the second one, Oklahoma. Blew Iowa State out. Tough thing for J.R. Raymond. He's sitting there not back at the game yet as Pfizer scores point number six. What? He's having to get an earful again because Newton just turned it over. The guards are not playing well for Oklahoma right now. Outstanding offensive low post position by Pfizer. He is a low down low. Nahara makes the reversal, can't get it to go, tipped back out, and Stone will solidify it with a new 35 for the Sooners, and then they turn it over. Another turnover. Nurse for three. Well, this thing right now going to pace, I think, that Iowa State wants, and certainly not to the advantage of Oklahoma. Exactly right. Oklahoma wants to get half-court set. They're very efficient on their offensive end, but four turnovers already. Johnson on the floor. Does he call a timeout? No, gets it away to Nahara. And he is fouled by Tinsley. Let's take a look offensively. Marcus Pfizer again can go outside, but likes to work inside. He puts Eduardo Nahara on his back. It's good low post position in the pass right on the button. And Eduardo very wisely. No sense in getting a cheap foul there because the big ship has already gone out of the harbor. Well, you take a look at his numbers against Baylor. Big turning record, big 12 tournament record, 38 points, 12 of 13 from the foul line on Friday night. Just simply dominated that ball game. And how about his start here this afternoon? Three up three, every shot from point-blank range. Great assist from his teammates. Where he's become more valuable this season, Ron, is his patience on the offensive end. Does not worry if he's not scoring the basketball. Will step away if he's double-teamed. Can go outside and shoot it. Eduardo, a young guy that, as Avi La checks into the lineup, another youngster from, from Mexico, who is from the West Coast, west of Mexico City. He's a 6'11 young fellow. Six to four, Iowa State, as we're about to have played the first four minutes of this championship game. And Kelvin Sampson will change his defense, go to more of a soft zone. Pfizer was dominating inside. You've got to be careful of Nurse and Horton now with the jump shots. And Tinsley will still penetrate against his zone. Potentially, you could see him point and say, give me a screen. But he squared up and missed the jumper. Matchup of two guys from Brooklyn, Tinsley on Nolan Johnson. Newton left along. Boy, he almost missed everything. Oh, what a pass. Great no look and a block inside by Avila on Stevie Johnson. Iowa State wanted a foul on that. Foul. Smart play by Stevie Johnson. He really enticed Eduardo Nahara to take the jump shot. It has not been Eduardo's strength this season. So let's take a break. 15:41 left in this Big 12 championship. Cyclones by a couple. ESPN and ESPN2, home of the Women's NCAA Basketball Championship. It's the fastest growing sport in the country. A sport defined by performance, determination, and teamwork. The pros know when conditions lean to the extreme, you got to go with the performer. And the 66 team is driven to perform. To protect your engine start to finish, drive with Phillips 66 Tropartic Premium Quality Motor Oil. Proof again. 
that Phillips 66 is the performance company. Uh, hi. Hi, I noticed you didn't dial 1010321. 10, Don't you want to save money? Well, sure, but to get a low rate, you have to pay a monthly fee. Not with 1010321. 10, you get 50% off calls over 10 minutes. That's eight cents a minute, day or night, without a monthly fee. Eight cents, no fee. Hmm, I really can save a lot with 1010321. 10, exactly. Dial 1010321. 10, The new BMW X5. Coming up at 5 o'clock Eastern NCAA Women's Tournament Selection Special presented by State Farm. Hosted by Robin Roberts, the show will exclusively unveil the 64 teams in the Women's 2000 NCAA Tournament. Jay Bellis and Vera Jones provide analysis. ESPN exclusive home of the Women's NCAA Basketball Tournament. And have a look right there. The women's team for Iowa State, part of them, last night they defeated Texas by 10 points here in Kansas City to win the Big 12 title. Where will they go and where will the Cyclones be seated? Well, a lot of people think it certainly will be very high, at least a four or a three seed. So defense got to stay with Pfizer if he goes outside. Well, first shot that he's missed. Johnson, nice work on the board. And he has it stripped. J.R. Raymond comes away with it. Stevie Johnson having a harder time this afternoon against the taller Oklahoma team. Bobby Lyon, not a rock. Interesting that Oklahoma has gotten off to a little bit of a rugged start offensively, but yet they're keeping it very close with a 6-4 margin right now. Nolan Johnson quiet so far, has a look to score. Misses that one badly, tipped by Nahara, and it'll come back down to Iowa State. Stevie Johnson working against Avila, score it, and he was fouled. Again, the push of the basketball by Tinsley. What Iowa State wants to do is just find openings, and Tinsley will find you. Stevie Johnson running the floor. Good ball fake down low. He did this often yesterday against Oklahoma State. We mentioned his 21 points. There's a reaction from the senior. His last trip to Kansas City. Boy, how about that? Impressive so far in this tournament play. Misses on the free throw, but Pfizer is right there, and he'll follow it and miss the return. And Tinsley just picked up his second foul. Decided he was going to sneak up and try to catch J.R. Raymond off guard, and they're going to have to be very careful. In fact, quickly, Hawkins is off the bench. Well, not a smart foul, obviously. Tinsley shakes his head, understands the mistake, and now he has to sit down. Changes the scope of how Iowa State plays just a little bit. Michael Nurse there off guard. He can handle the basketball. Last year he was a port guard. Horton can handle the basketball. Bryce, that ball touched last by Hawkins. Hawkins goes up and over the table. John Brody of uh, the Oklahoma City paper, Daily Oklahoma. Nice job. Good hands, John. Oklahoma only one of six from the field to open this one. <laughs> Nolan Johnson almost loses it. And this continual pressure by Iowa State defensively really hounding the ball handling of the Sooners. Well, right now, Oklahoma out of sync. That is not the type of shots they normally take. It's not a shot you take at horse. Nurse. Offensive foul. Sooners are hanging in, though, on the defensive end. Kelvin Sampson in Nolan Johnson's face trying to get that young man going. Had a tough win Friday night against Missouri overtime. One of the best college games I've seen in a long time. Boy, that, that was a dandy, and I know you were working that one. And in overtime, it, uh, it was something to see. Newton, who was a local youngster, knocked down the crucial three that gave Oklahoma the win. Yeah, Kelly Newton, Wyandotte High School product, Kansas City, Kansas. Came back home in front of friends and family. 
Naharaj has picked up his second foul. So two of the stars of the game with only 1343 left until halftime, or I should say that much time left with a couple of fouls each. Well, again, probably not a smart foul. Once the play is over, Eduardo's got to get out of there. And going after that ball with a guy in front of you, you know you don't want to pick up your second. Here is the improvement, though, Ron, of Oklahoma this year. They have been able to win down the stretch with Eduardo not having to score points. They won the game Friday night with Eduardo fouling out with about five minutes left in that ball game. So they have enough offensive weapons and they're solid enough defense to play without Nahara. Well, they come out in the zone here. Haywood checks in replacing Nahara. Iowa State opened up three for three. Since then, they are one of six from the field. Pfizer puts hand. it on the floor and loses it. J.R. Ring. Good hand. See if the Sooners can get an open look. Right now, Iowa State closing all avenues. Johnson fouled by Hawkins. Pfizer, I beg your pardon. Not for sure they were going to call that on Hawkins, but Pfizer gets the call, and it is his first. Fifth team foul on Iowa State. against Pfizer, no place to go. Comes back out on top, and they go back to him again. Good a play. jump hook. Nicely done. Solid play by Avila. Kick it back out, reestablish yourself. What they want him to do, though, is attack Pfizer. See if he can score over the top, make Marcus Pfizer play a little defense. to six Cyclones, the bouncer inside to Pfizer. They cover him up with oh, three strong. people, and he still takes it up and scores. Patience, he stays with it. Avila's got to hold his ground already with eight points early in this game. Four of six from the field. Horton comes out. Raymond. The high screen hit by Pfizer. He knocks it loose. Six seconds on the shot clock. Johnson driving. And it's going to be an offensive foul. Ron disruption so far for Oklahoma in the offensive end. They just can't get into anything. 11.55 left until halftime. Cyclones by four. 32.75. I didn't bring my purse. <laughs> For the great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down. Make it a Bud Light. It did look good on it. Upset away. Hey, trust me, I got plenty of them. Happy family, happy browsing, find everything housing. Everything housing. Call World Banker. Dot com. Online. Dot com. Happy family, happy browsing, find everything housing. Happy family, happy browsing, find everything. championship game Iowa State by four Oklahoma trying to stay in this ball game and Victor Avila who we've seen improvement through the course of the year scoring the ball nice little jump hook here but then on the defensive end this is where the Sooners are having problems Marcus Pfizer one two three four guys standing there he still gets it point blank to the rim power and strength yeah, he's a little bit of a of a intimidation, a force underneath there, isn't he? Man, 265 pounds and 
Again, Ron, he has such a focus on the court. Out of Arcadia, Louisiana, averages almost 24 a game, seven and a half rebounds, 72% free throw shooter, and 44% from beyond the arc. He doesn't do it a lot, but when he does, you better have a hand on him. Hawkins picks up the dribble, gets it back out front. And fortunate they were in a zone because it, that had been man coverage. That little lollipop would have been picked off. Now, Sooner's defense pretty solid in this zone, challenging shooters. Horton's a good one, though. Horton and Nurse are the guys you've got to be careful of. Once they get it going, they will spot up and can bury them from deep. First three of the afternoon for either team. Horton hits the three-pointer 40% of the time. Nahara back in the game. Fortunate he didn't pick up his third foul as Pfizer blocks the shot and it's going to go the other direction. You know, we talked about Iowa State and their weapons, and this guy with the ball, Michael Nurse, can shoot it. Cantrell Horton, when he gets it going, he knocked in four threes on Friday, and here defensively, when you attack, Marcus Pfizer is going to be waiting. Stone quickly off the bench as Avila picked up his second foul. Ian Johnson about to check back into the OU lineup. OU back to man-to-man. -to -man. Here's our marquee matchup right here. Pfizer got it. Now that, that to me is what is so impressive about it because he can not only play with his back to the hoop, he can create off the dribble. He does it off the dribble. Kelvin Sampson needs and wants a timeout. And Really didn't even look like a matchup. Nahara on Pfizer. Pfizer took him right off the dribble. So let's take a timeout. This place sounding much akin to Hilton South. It's all Cyclones. They say one's cow is a man. A monstrous slur. They say one's dentistry is diabolical. It looks fine to me. But there's one thing they say which is absolutely bang on. One's television is brilliant. If one wants the best of British television on BBC America, one gets the Total Choice Package on Direct TV. Visit www.directtv.com. One wants one's BBC. That'll be on Direct TV, madam. Quite. Stuart and I get the playoff picture back from the darkroom when we come back. We're clear. Oh. Oh. The prompter's going uh, too fast. I can't keep up. It's not the teleprompter. It's you, and I stop the My throat. I can hardly talk. Give him some tea. Give him some tea. Oh, I can't go back out. I don't want to go back out. Cut me. Cut me, Lou. Come on, baby. Come on. Snap out of me. Don't be a lollipop. Get out there. Tonight's your night. Oh, without question, these days, the word on everybody's lips. Sooners better be careful. This is a 9-2 run by Iowa State right now. And Marcus Pfizer puts it on the floor. Gets away with a little bump right there. A little elbow, a little push, extended it. But the elevation on his jump shot, Nahara doesn't challenge it. He's going to have to. Eduardo frustrated by the push, but they're going to allow that to happen. Only two touches by Nahara so far in the game. And you have to wonder how long this assignment of trying to guard Pfizer is going to hamper him offensively. Well, it's a tough chore. What we've seen in Oklahoma the last couple weeks is their ability to give it to Nolan Johnson and spread the floor. We haven't seen that yet, but they did it uh, against Oklahoma State a week ago in the big win in Stillwater. They did it Friday night against Missouri. They simply cleared out for Nolan Johnson to go to work, but we have not seen Nolan alone with the basketball. Substitute of the ball game number 15, Martin Rancic, who is out of Slovakia, played his high school basketball at St. Louis Park High School in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Broke a foot early in the season. In fact, the first game we had up there, John, in the Big 12 was against Missouri, and he that began his absence and has just come back. Tinsley, Stone. great hands. Tinsley with another steal, and Horton will score it. Tinsley has 83 steals coming into this ball game. He's the guy that will pick your pocket from all angles. Soft hands, quick hands. Back in the line, he's got two fouls. I said the Sooners need to be careful because this is like a home game for Iowa State. There are so many people wearing red and gold in this arena as a foul is called on Ransom. Martin grabbing Nahara. Well, phenomenal how many people travel with Iowa State. They have filled Kansas City up for the women's games and for the men's games. Defense inside. You talked about Martin Rancic now back in the lineup. Picks up that personal. And Martin has to, when he comes to the lineup now, he's always been a little bit of a loose cannon with the passing and the shooting. Since he's been back, they've uh, curtailed him a little bit, trying to fit him into the squad. But it does, it does add some depth to the squad. Not only gives him depth, but I think gives him some muscle. And, and he can be a smart player. And they have told him what his role is. 
Heskett for three. Yeah, he's got to hit those. Tim's got to hit the open ones. Oklahoma needing a big spark and needing it quickly. Otherwise, Iowa State trying to run away and hide with this championship game here at Kemper Arena in Kansas City. 17 to 6. And the Sooners, how uncharacteristic is that? As Pfizer up, misses that one, but the follow inside, no basket. Brandon Hawkins only 6-3, the freshman. They're going to wipe it off. Nolan Johnson gets the foul. Now, Calvin Sampson not happy, but what happens when you focus on one player like this? Everybody kind of becomes a spectator. Defensively, you're watching Pfizer. You forget about your man once in a while. The reaction. March Madness. 14 fouls against the Sooners. It's the first foul against Nolan Johnson. Second, I beg your pardon. Brandon, a 67% free throw shooter. Barely drew iron on that one. Going to under nine minutes in this first half. Good pass, good shooter. Price. Good decision by Eduardo. Not a great outside shooter. Has been inconsistent, but Hollis Price can knock him in. Well, that takes it out of double figures, and good news for the Sooners because they needed to pick me up and quickly. You'll watch Nolan Johnson will sag off Tinsley. Not a great, great outside shooter. He'll try to keep him out of the paint. Rancic almost steals it. Johnson gets it back and gets it off to Price. Done. That's a tough shot going to his left. Kisses it high off the glass. And a young freshman coming up big right now. They needed somebody to do it. But the freshman from New Orleans, Price, a couple of big trips for him. And he's really matured all season long and becoming a tougher player. Hawkins, way off. Martin Rancic inside, misses. The follow by Hawkins, and he missed, but he was fouled. Well, you mentioned Hollis Price, the freshman who early in the season struggled kind of finding his way in Big 12 play, but as of late, he has been really special for Kelvin Sampson. Last six ball games, over 12 points, his ability to handle it and shoot it. On Friday night in the overtime, down two points or before overtime, two seconds left, his two free throws send it to overtime. Not easy to stand there in front of all these fans and not to win. And there's nothing but net on Friday night. Tell you his five points in the last 60 seconds here has kind of awakened the Sooners because they were down 17 to 6 and it looked as though they were sinking. Rancic gets a break, as does Horton. Gets them both. Boy, Hawkins has given this team some solid minutes. Well, it gives them a rotation now of at least eight, if not nine players. With uh, Martine coming back. Paul Shirley, one of their forwards, 6'9", is out with a foot injury, and they hope he's back for the NCAA play. Gunahara. And there shows the intimidation, the outlet pass, and look who it is, Pfizer. 265 pounds, and he runs the floor with ease. Iowa State, when the shot's up, they like to send two guys breaking. They're an outstanding defensive team that blocks out, they get rebounds, and then they push. And their guards can find somebody. Ten-point lead, Cyclones, this crowd trying to help their team take it over. Nahara, he's off the mark. Tinsley with the rebound, and look at the break here. They've got numbers again. Hawkins, got it. You want a little addition off the bench? How about the freshman Hawkins? with four points we talked about their ability to get the rebound and look at Tinsley's head and eyes are up and Pfizer simply outruns everybody again Ron when they, the shot goes up these guys are going to get the rebound and then they go Hawkins this time another guy that can handle the ball create doesn't score a lot 
but catching up in the box man is having fun four points this afternoon and Jamal Tins a little pat on the head good no call by the officials there because Heskett actually was moving into him but as we mentioned off the top of the telecast a veteran group with uh, Steve Wilmer the referee and Scott Thornley and Tommy O'Neill and trying to let the teams decide who wins the championship and that of course is what you always like to see well how about the crowd here oh I, I'm, when I said Hilton South now <laughs> since the women played last night and they brought so many people for that even some of those fans stayed over to cheer for the men uh -huh. and they were able to grab tickets from Oklahoma State or Texas fans and I mean they must have 75 80 percent of the crowd here. Stevie Johnson working hard, not allowing Nahara the basketball on the post. Price, nice give to Abby Lai. Did he travel? Nope, he was fouled. Nice play by Price. We're gonna go one on one, one on one. You can tell right now, Ron, that Oklahoma not having many easy looks in their half court sets. They're not, an, and one of the things that really stands out is Nahara, who normally is so confident and around the hoop, he gets every garbage thing that is there, and he's missed a couple of really close shots. John. Missed some close ones, and the other thing is, I haven't, he hasn't been able to establish that low block position. Stevie Johnson has pushed him away from it, and has got on the front side and made Eduardo step out, and that's where you want him to beat you over the top with jump shots. <laughs> Victor Avila, a senior, as we mentioned, also from Mexico, as is Eduardo Nahara. We'll take a break. 23 to 13. Cyclones by 10. They call me Mother Nature. I'm kind of like an adoption agency. I'm looking for good homes. You can start with a plain, flat field. This has got potential. We can create a Garden of Eden right there. These just came in today from a local grower. We have a guarantee on all of our plants one year. I take pride in the level of customer service that I give to you. What makes Home Depot different than everybody else is our customer service. It's great customer service. The Home Depot, where low prices are just the beginning. Mom, Dad, a 37-year-old that lives at home should pay rent. It's great, oh, Mark. But I want airline miles mm -hmm. or points. I don't understand. My rent would earn me airline miles, mm. and with points I could upgrade to, like, grandma's rooms. Right? <laughs> like a rewards program. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah, what does this look like, a holiday inn? <laughs> More ways to collect and redeem points than any other hotel program. That's today's Holiday Inn. Hey, guys. What, do you want to try a reason? Yeah, I'm game. Me too. What's up with reason? Mmm. Got a lot of chocolate. Great chew, too. Not too hard, not too soft. Can I try one more? Mighty chocolatey, mighty reason. <laughs> you gotta try them. Enterprise? Hi. My car's out of commission, so I'm out of commission. Enterprise will arrange to pick you up. This is great. Drive you to our place and get you on your Bye. way. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Cyclones by 10 in the Phillips 66 Big 12 Championship. Well, key matchup we talked about earlier. Eduardo Nahara seeing what he can do. Stevie Johnson has been outstanding. Eduardo, four points, two rebounds. Marcus Pfizer, on the other hand, has been spectacular. Six of nine from the field, 12 points. Has really dominated inside, and when he runs the floor, it's been an easy finish. So that's quite a sight. Those guards looked up. And here goes not just a cruiser, it's a battleship running down the court. <laughs> yeah. Runs as well as they do, takes the pass, and there's certainly nothing you can do about it. Well, I'll take a look at the numbers. Last time, Eduardo started strongly, and then Pfizer's ball club made a pretty big comeback. An overtime game, double overtime. Nahara, one of four. He has four points on the afternoon. They'll, they'll back off Stevie Johnson, not an outside shooter. Pfizer for three, maybe a little ill-advised right there, but missed it. Nolan Johnson, only two field goal attempts. He's a guy that has been really their special player the last couple weeks. Oh, Johnson has it taken away. Hawkins is the man who caused it. Intensely with the spin move and he'll score. Well, we say smooth a lot when Tinsley has it in his hands. You can see why. You really like him. Oh, I, rarely do you see a guy that can handle the ball so easily and effortlessly. 
He can put it from his right to his left, and you don't even notice the bounce. I mean, he's that good. Pfizer causes Avila to miss from close range and then gets the rebound. And at the other end, with the left hand, Tinsley again. Now well, Jamal thinks he's back in Rucker Park in New York City, where he used to watch his idols and watching them play, the sleepy floor, Stephon Marbury's, and this guy has everything you want in a point guard. All conference, first team this year, uses the body, puts it in his left hand, the softness off the glass. Well, what a special year he has had, and that is why Iowa State is highly ranked. And the interesting thing is coming over from junior college ball last year and we have heard some pro scouts say they'd like to talk to him about coming out after this year. Well again I haven't seen a point guard in a long time handle the ball like he handles it. When you have a guy that can do that it makes everybody else's job easier on the floor. Nahara for three. He's off the money. And here comes Pfizer. He had Stevie Johnson open, but he didn't see him in time. Misses the shot off the glass, and Abby Law will quiet this crowd for the moment. 15 points, Cyclone lead, five minutes to play until halftime. Abby Law misses. Nahara with the follow, blocked by Pfizer. And here they come again. Nurse will take it the distance. Everything going the Cyclone way. Nurse actually looked like he lost control of that ball. Well, let's watch the sequence and why they are in front 30 to 13. Here's the block. Eduardo working hard on the offensive glass. Every time he goes up, either a crowd around him, and then the Cyclones get going, and Michael Nurse loses control, but gains it just in time. Boy, they're on a roll. Men's tournament special uh, coming up. 6.30 Eastern time. Chris Fowler is going to host this 90-minute show. Digger Phelps and Quinn Buckner, along with Nick Vitale, is in Charlotte, will provide insight and analysis of the 64 teams who will compete for the NCAA National Championship. Also, Michelle Tafoya will report live from Indianapolis, side of the selection committee meetings. Ron Franklin, John Sunbold, glad to have you along from Kipper Arena in Kansas City. Fast break points, and again, I talked about in this first half the things that are rare that we normally see that we have not seen from the Sooners. They have no fast break points. Iowa State has 10. Well, outstanding play on the timeout. The key to all that, Ron, they're shooting 20% from the field, Oklahomans. They're missing shots, and that allows this Cyclone team to get on a horse because they will run. About to hit the four-minute mark in the first half. Back to a 15-point margin. Nurse to Stevie Johnson. I think Stevie was looking for one with that much pepper on it. Stevie Johnson, the type of player that knows his strength, knows his weaknesses, stays away from things he doesn't do well. Nice job of defense by Price to force the sixth turnover for Iowa State. Larry Eustachy up and beckoning for his team. Hey, now let's don't uh, do a little walkabout here. We've got a great lead. Heading for a championship, but let's don't spoil it right now. Boy, not Michael Nurse just gave a shoulder to Nahara. Eduardo coming off the screen to go to low post position. Michael Nurse checked him all and the way out of bounds. Horton goes up and takes the ball away from Avila. No look pass in the middle. Pfizer couldn't hold on. Sheldon's a timeout. 3.39 left until halftime. It's 30 to 15. Iowa State. And this is the guy. The reason that the Cyclones are posturing to win the Big 12. Oh, hey, easy, boys. Easy. Whoa, excuse me. Hey, is that a collect call? Who are you? I'm the 1 800 collect advice guy. Use 1 800 collect and save the people you call a buck or two. 1 800. How about a C? O L L. Can't spell collect without a T! Thanks. Use 1-800-COLLECT. Save a buck or two. It's a great name. It's beansnow.com.
beansnow.com. You type in beansnow.com, we're different from other bean sites. It's a website, computers, you click, and the next day beans appear. And we're looking for some venture cap, some seed money. We're, we're just trying to get some cash. It's not one of those dirty websites, is it? Oh, no. And... The cold filtered cool of Miller Genuine Draft. I'm starting an internet website, and I'm calling it CaptainBarky.com. That's my doggy's name. Huh. Never miss a genuine opportunity. Got those no folders to wake us up loose. Need that fresh mountain grown taste to start the day. For the blues to start flowing away. Got that good feeling coming on. We're folders hot, steamy, and strong. Oh, yeah. The Cyclones. Take a look at this action. Well, physical play. Oklahoma tried to run the same play on the other side of the floor this time down, and the bump by Nurse. Nahara goes out. All of a sudden, you disrupt their offensive play, the thing they called. And the thing that will impress you about Iowa State, their guards are physically strong, Ron. They bump you, they push you. I mean, Cantrell Horton goes 225 pounds, always only 6'1". Here's to back up your point. Listen to this balance and rebounding. Pfizer, three. Rancic, three. Stevie Johnson with three. Nurse, one of the guards, three. Horton and Tinsley both with two guards as well. So they, they are expected to work both inside and out, and they do. Well, back to that thought. When they walk on the floor, you think, well, they got one 6'8 guy. Look at all the other little guys. But... 6'1", 225, 6'1", 200, 6'1", 190 pounds. They are physically strong. Good move. Nahara trying to step things up, which he needs desperately to do with his ball club down by 13 points. Now, Oklahoma needs a good three minutes here. Couple stops, couple fast breaks, couple open jump shots. Get, get themselves back into this ball game. Stevie Johnson comes out high. Michael Nurse, he was the point guard last year. And he's going to take it all the way to the hoop, takes it from the right to the left and score. He's going to show you why he was a point guard last year, but although a better was, player this year. He wasn't happy with that. He said, I'm an off guard, that's where I want to play, and that's why Tinsley has been so valuable to them. To move Tinsley to the point, and of course, <laughs> Nurse shows he can do either. Yeah, Michael a better shooter than he is a ball handler, such as leading the group. He's a better spot-up shooter. Gets another rebound, his third. But the advantage for Larry Eustacey is if Tinsley goes out, Michael Nurse can step right in that role. Pfizer, double team, now a triple. <laughs> Look at the patience. Nurse for three. The patience, though, of Pfizer not to get in a hurry on the initial double team. He waited, they backed off, and they came again. And what Nurse did was just found an opening, and then Pfizer put it across court to him. Nurse with seven points. Price for three. Stone tips it back out to Heskett and a fresh 35. We're under two to play the Phillips 66 Big 12 Championship from Kansas City. Price. Well, I'll tell you, you're right. The freshman has stepped it up, and it has really helped this ball club. He's got seven, and it's come all in the last five minutes. Three again. Not there, but there's Hawkins to hustle for the rebound for the Cyclones. One man triple team. It's hard to block the rest of them out. Marcus Pfizer called for his second foul. Add the triple team and a watch Marcus Pfizer. Well, there's the, the bump, and we call that right away. Well, coming up on the 7-Up Halftime Report, Bill Pito and Digger Phelps standing by. Who's king to the ACC? It's, of course, the Dukies. And a surprise in the SEC. How about those Razorbacks? Nolan Richardson? Boy, they're playing well. Pfizer goes out, and with 119 to play until halftime, going to get a break. That's going to be a lane violation had he missed it. Hawkins in there a little quickly. Red's eye, 52% free throw shooter, so everybody understands possibility of being a rebound here. Good Gets stroke. them both. 14-point lead, Iowa State. We're about to hit the one-minute mark in his opening half. 
Many people think Iowa State, should they win today, certainly has worked and put themselves in a position for a number one seed. I don't know. There are dissenters, people who are not pro Big 12, who say they're going to be a second seed. Well, I promise you they're number two. At uh, least. There's a chance of number one. Hawkins holds up. Nothing there. Stone with a rebound. Five rebounds for Stone now. I know one thing. If they're placed in Minneapolis, uh, the whole state of Iowa will be there They'll just like they are here. They'll pack that place. You're right. Heskett for three. Big hoop. Big hoop just simply run for momentum, for confidence. That makes it an 11 point ball game as we go under 30 seconds until intermission. Well, the Cyclones want the last shot and the last shot only. Possibility for a tip? Yes, but don't give the Sooners any crack on the other end. 12 seconds. Nope, better go to work now. Horton in the middle, puts up a not-so-good uh -oh. shot, and now a foul on Evans. Not a smart foul. With 4.4 seconds, and all of a sudden, Oklahoma down by, what, 17 a moment ago, and they can make this a nine-point game to head into the locker room. Well, five straight points, and not a smart play, and all of a sudden, the momentum changes in the Sooner locker room. They will be talking about the things they did positively the last couple minutes. Iowa State will address the plays they made in the last minute. Haywood prepares to check in, but he's going to come in for the shooter. They don't want Nahara to get his third foul with 4.4 seconds left until halftime. Well, we know Kelvin Sampson. We know Sooner basketball. These guys aren't going to quit. They're not going to go away. We'll continue to try to claw back into this game. It's been a tough half for Nahara. He is 3 of 10 from the field. As that ball is tipped around and knocked out of bounds by Oklahoma. 2.6 seconds showing on the clock. Well, we'll see if they throw one long or just get it in and be done with it. Pressuring Nurse as here comes the inbounds pass. Now get it to Horton, and that should be elementary. We are at halftime. So as Pfizer heads to the locker room, and he has 12 first half points, six of 11. Iowa State 35, Oklahoma 25. Now let's hit it to Bill Pito and Digger Felt with the seven up halftime report. Ron, thank you very much. Last year, Digger, Iowa State just 15 and 15. Coming into this year, a lot of people thought they'd the best they do would be to get to the NIT. You're exactly right. And when you look at what's happened this season, they're on fire. But Oklahoma, second half, you get a shot at beating them. Nahara's got to step up his game. But J.R. Raymond has not scored at all in the first half for Oklahoma. Pfizer, meanwhile, for Iowa State, has 12 points through the first half of play. Coming up on the halftime report, where will Iowa State, where should they be seated? Digger will tell us that. Have his top four seeds in each bracket when we come back. ESPN's presentation of Championship Week is presented by 7-Up and your local 7-Up Bobbler. Make 7-Up yours. And in part by Philip 66, the performance company. They say it's an extreme sport, but it only begins there. It's a sport that pushes performance to the limits and beyond. That's why when conditions lean to the extreme, Winners stay cool with Phillips 66 Injects 2-Cycle Motor Oil. It gives you maximum performance on race day and every day. To let the good times roar, choose Phillips 66 Injects for your 2-Cycle engine. Proof again that Phillips 66 is the performance company. This is a real mom-and-pop hardware store. I think we have a nice family feel. A couple of months ago, we got a little bump in our car. Oh, we've been with our State Farm agent for 26 years. Because I think he puts his personal self into it. Just like we do at the hardware store, he actually listens to what your needs are. It makes me feel pretty important. Get to know your State Farm agent. You can't put a price on a good relationship. Superstitious? It's a little bit strong. I mean, I do whatever I have to do to help out the team. Let's say you got a tie game, full count. Nobody's on. If I can eat a whole hot dog before the runner gets to first base, then he's coming home. Case of high-scoring games, 
Rollades. Rollade starts to neutralize acid in less than 10 seconds, getting you back on your game fast. Nachos, of course, are the key to a great double play. Rollades, R-O-L-A-I-D-S, spells relief. You know that grand slam last week? Life has its bumps, but you don't have to feel them. Now Midas Gold Struts with R2 technology are only $59.95 each with a lifetime guarantee. Go smoothly. Go Midas. Great to have you with us here on the 7-Up Halftime Report. Halftime of the Big 12 title game. Iowa State leading Oklahoma by 10, 35-25. to 25. The big question today in the SEC, could Arkansas make it four wins in four days? Could they beat Auburn? and steal the conference tournament title and take an at-large bid away from somebody else. Doc Robinson here for Auburn. 15 points in the game, and Auburn was up early. Arkansas, though, staying in it. Brandon Dean, great game. Arkansas cutting a lead to four, but Auburn coming around. Dean, a career-high 22. Great move along the baseline there. Arkansas. Minutes of health. Gibson again. Arkansas, like St. Louis, shocking developments in a conference tourney. Digger, they win it by the score of 75-67. Give Auburn some credit. Good run for them without Chris Porter. All but what does this mean now for the tournament? Well, Arkansas right now looks like with St. Louis, both those wins winning conference tournaments allows them now to take away the at-larges that the bubbles were waiting for. How about the ACC title game? For Maryland against Duke. Maryland's first trip to this title game in a tournament since 1984. Jason Williams steals the inbounds pass all the way and a foul. Duke was up 25-13. They go on a 17-1 run. Maryland, though, trying to come back. Juan Dixon, 19 points in the game, two there. Cuts the lead to just one. Second half, though, Duke taking control. Shane Battier, 10 points in the game, three here, and Duke was up 48 to 40. Maryland trying to keep it close. Off the missed three, it's Terrence Morris. He had 14 points in the game. Nice move on the inside there, but Duke putting it away. Carlos Boozer, 21 points in the game. Under six to go, and a foul. Duke goes on to win, 81 to 68. So they win the tournament title digger for the second straight year. The ACC championship, that means as much as Duke as anything else they do in basketball. That's a tradition. The number one team, the number one conference as far as championship week, the ACC. Now the biggest question for Maryland, in my opinion, Daley Miller hurt his ankle. How will he be ready for this coming week? For Duke, Jason Williams, 23, and I mentioned Carlos Boozer with 21. Meanwhile, title game, a rematch from last year in the Big Ten. Michigan State won it last year, and so far in this year's game, Michigan State up by three, still in the first half. Illinois, still a very dangerous team. This is, game is not over. Both teams fight for that Big Ten title. All right, we'll keep you posted on that, and we'll be back with much more on the 7-Up Halftime Report right after this. This halftime report is presented by 7-Up and your local 7-Up bottler. Make 7-Up yours. In the salt drink game, you gotta put your vending machines where the people are and what they call high traffic areas. Well, I can't get much more high traffic than this, baby. Don't worry, there's enough for everyone. Come on, hit it! Okay, can we get a new machine out here, please? Thank you. I overheard you at that cocktail party last week. The, the Zip Gen stock. I bought a ton online. <laughs> Good. For they are the only firm able to meet the stringent demands of the Martians from Vector Nebula. Collect call. Who are you? I'm the 1-800 Collect Advice Guy. Use 1-800 Collect and save the people you call a buck or two. 1-800. How about a C? O L L E T. Can't spell Collect without a T. Thanks. Use 1-800 Collect. Save a buck or two.
2000 Sable, new from Mercury. Welcome back, everybody. The 7-Up Halftime Report. Halftime of our game, the Big 12 title game, Iowa State leading Oklahoma 35-25. to Seedings, of course, come out today. The brackets come out today, Selection Sunday. One of the big questions, what about Temple? They win the A-10 tournament title for the first time in 10 years, finish the season 26-5. and Should they be a number one seed? Here's their coach, John Cheney. I'm not so concerned about uh, playing a, a lowly, uh, touted team. I never have been. Uh, I just think that if you deserve to, to go on, you will. And if not, you should come home. You're only going to lose one more game. So I, I'm not concerned, concerned about seeds. I don't think about it. I don't even know how it works. Digger, should they be a number one seed? <laughs> I don't think they're going to be a number one seed, but they're going to be a very dangerous number two seed in the East. I like this team a lot. I think they're a solid basketball team. With Pepe Sanchez, they're loaded. Duke earned it today. They've earned it all year. They fought back to become a number one. St. John's, because they won the Big East Conference tournament, they get a three seed in the East, and they'll ship up LLSU from the Southeastern Conference. The East uh, Regional Final takes place in Syracuse. The South Regional Final will take place in Austin, Texas. I think Stanford will get shipped into the South as a number one seed because of their two losses to Arizona. Iowa State, very dangerous team. No one wants to get in this bracket. I love Maryland. I think getting to the championship of the ACC tournament has Maryland on a roll. Syracuse has faded all year, but I think they still earn a four seed. Midwest, uh, Digger, the regional final will be in Auburn Hills, Michigan. Love Michigan State staying at home. Cincinnati will drop from a one to two. They deserve to stay in the Midwest. They shouldn't be penalized and chipped out because of Kenya Martin's injury. Oklahoma State, another dangerous team. Florida, Billy Donovan's team eh, didn't win the first round conference game in the tournament, but they're still a solid four team. And the West Digger, that regional final will be played in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I think Arizona earned it. They should be number one. They should be in the West. Ohio State coming in, had a great run at the end of the year. Scooty Penn, Michael Red loaded. Tennessee has got to have that fight to win the big games when they count. Chris Mim in Texas, very dangerous four seed. Well, it won't be long now. We'll find out how right you are. And I love Temple to win it all. I okay. love Cheney. I love Pepper Sanchez. All right, we're marking that down right now. Selection Sunday, we got the women's brackets for you. Tournament selection special, 5 Eastern time with Robin Roberts, Jay Billis, and Vera Jones. 6.30 p.m. Eastern, the men's tournament selection special. Digger will join Chris Fowler, Dick Vitale, and Quinn Buckner. And at 8 Eastern over on ESPN2, Brian Kenny, Jay Billis, Andy Katz, and how the brackets may proceed, how the tournament may unfold. And March Madness, the marathon on ESPN Classic, beginning at 7 Eastern. 23 hours of classic NCAA tournament action, including Michael Jordan as a Tar Heel. Back with more after this. Eight movies now playing on direct ticket. Back here on the 7 Up Halftime Report. Want to catch you up on what's going on in the Big Ten title game as Illinois and Michigan State. They played last year in the title game, a rematch this year. And right now in the first half, Illinois leads the Spartans by 116 to 15. Sports Center coming away on ESPN tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern time with Trey Wingo and Betsy Ross. All you need to know about what's going on leading up to the selection show at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time. And the NBA, got to talk about them today. The Heat against the Pacers, the big game in the professional ranks. Meanwhile, the second half of the Big 12 title game coming up in moments as Iowa State at the half leads it by 10. It's the fastest growing sport in the country. A sport defined by performance, determination, and teamwork. The pros know when conditions lean to the extreme, you got to go with the performer. And the 66 team is driven to perform. To protect your engine start to finish, drive with Phillips 66 Trop Arctic Premium Quality Motor Oil. Proof again that Phillips 66 is the performance company. and Sable, new from Mercury. It's coming, allergy season, and if you suffer like I do, you can stay indoors and miss all this, or talk to your doctor about Claritin. 
Just one tablet brings 24 hours of non-drowsy relief from seasonal allergy symptoms. Claritin has a low occurrence of side effects such as headache, drowsiness, fatigue, and dry mouth. All were similar to sugar pill. You can't control allergy season, but with Claritin, you can help control what allergy season does to you. what's inside. ESPN's presentation of Championship Week, presented by 7UP, is brought to you by Phillips 66, the performance company, and by Claritin. Downtown Kansas City, what uh, from the musical Oklahoma, they say, uh, went and built a skyscraper seven stories tall. Well, it's inside today, and that skyscraper is named Marcus Pfizer. I have a feeling that's the way the Sooners are looking at it. He got the first hoop of the ball game, and he has been the man. Well, he really has been, and he's dominated both ends of four. Then he went out with two fouls. But Oklahoma, Ron, not shooting the ball well. When their shots are open, they're not knocking them in, and, and they're a very good shooting team. Iowa State has a lot to do with that shooting 29 also. Well, Marcus Pfizer, you said it really started the game well had the first six points ran the floor well established his low post position did it off the dribble also defensively when you take it to the hole Mr. Pfizer is going to be around and offensively he's been patient enough to find the double team pass out of it Michael Nurse three or four for the field has seven points stats in the first half what jumps out at you beyond that shooting John well really that's the key I mean you take a look at the bottom the fast break points the result of that is because Oklahoma keeps missing shots now they are a 47 percent field goal shooting team they shoot above 40 from three point line they have to get their shooters open and make the open shots and a young man who will uh, inbound it right here in front of us J.R. Raymond he's got to come out of his slumber he is old for the first half and Nolan Johnson 0 of 1 J.R. Raymond 0 of 2 these are their big time scores they've got to start looking for shots and get open. Iowa State players say play. is Johnson, nice job. Nice half-court set, good curl by Nolan Johnson. That gets his first two. He has been a productive second-half player in the last uh, few games. Iowa State players, as they came back out to warm up and shoot some hoops, say 20 minutes, that's what we've got. Let's hold it on, and it will be our championship. Tinsley, wow. You know, Oklahoma in a soft zone. They want to be beaten from the outside by the likes of Tinsley or Stevie Johnson. But once the ball moved and the defense shift, Tinsley takes advantage. Johnson, back to Price, who had the high screen from uh, Rinzai Stone. Here's Raymond and still able to connect. Well, got a good look that time. JR is the kind of guy that needs a screen or two. That could have created a lot on his own. <laughs> JR Raymond called for the foul. His first. <laughs> Oklahoma did a nice job in the last three minutes of the first half to get themselves back in this ball game because they were down and uh, not out, but they were down by 17 points. Well, close to being out. Yeah. I mean, the way the game was being played. Tinsley. Now, we talked about the first half. Tinsley, the ability to get to the paint. Rarely have we seen anybody all season long keep that guy out of there. Well, he's got nine points, plus he had four assists in the first half. And the first game that we did in the Big 12 this year, he had a triple-double against Missouri. First one in Big 12 play since uh, Brian Skinner had one. For Baylor a few years ago, Skinner had it the unconventional way, though his were by block shots and double assists. Pfizer, the bounce pass and a little too hot and a little too close to Stevie Johnson. Now that's nine turnovers for the Cyclones. Stevie Johnson working hard on Nahara on the block. Nahara can't get it, and Pfizer skies for the rebound. Four rebounds now for Marcus Pfizer. And 
Look at the spin move by Tinsley, and then very unselfishly gives it up to Stevie Johnson. I think he's pretty good. <laughs> well, he matched up with Nolan Johnson, two guys that played AAU ball together and played in the streets back in Brooklyn. Gave each other a big hug before this ball game. Pfizer with the active hands. to Stone and Rimsai missed the layup. Tensley, well, that one he dribbled off the back of his heel. Raymond still can't get one to go. Marcus Pfizer, six rebounds. The well, last three times down, Oklahoma. Nahara missed about a three or four footer. Stone misses one point blank, and then Hollis Price missed one. And that he will mostly, most of the time, make. Well, we've talked about Jamal Tinsley, the guy they call Mel back in the playground. That's what he does best. The spin move, the finish. And this is where Oklahoma is having problems. And Rimsai is left-handed, and he missed the putback. By the way, that basket was not good a moment ago. And it was the third foul on Nahara. Pfizer has it knocked away. Tinsley right there, and Tinsley was fouled. Personal foul number one on Heskett. Yonahara with three personal fouls. Have to leave him in his ballgame, right? 16-25 left to keep him in. Tell him not to pick up the fourth. Got to be careful, though. Tinsley, he loves that spin move. Nurse is there, and he comes to the aid of the Cyclones again. Yeah, 17 Michael. points. Well, Michael Nurse is uh, on a roll. Shooting the ball well, but all of them have been open. Stolen by Nurse. Foul by Heskett, his second. Great, great anticipation. Well, take a look again. Tinsley gets to the paint. Everybody kind of helps out. Michael Nurse, four of five from the field. A couple three-pointers in that. And young man came into Kansas City shooting the ball extremely well, though has struggled in the two wins here. Getting his stroke back this afternoon. Look at Tinsley. He's already at the free throw line. It's going to be a hold inside against 34, Jameel Haywood. His first. Ron, if a guy, if a point guard gets it that deep, your, your defense is in trouble. So let's take a break. 17-point margin by the Cyclones of Iowa State. Watch NBA Tonight, Tuesday through Saturday on ESPN2. New from Mercury. Uh, hi. Hi, I noticed you didn't dial 1010321. -10 Don't you want to save money? Well, sure, but to get a low rate, you have to pay a monthly fee. Not with 1010321. You get 50% off calls over 10 minutes. That's eight cents a minute, day or night, without a monthly fee. Eight cents, no fee? Hmm, I really can save a lot with 1010321. Exactly. Dial 1010321. There are seven new people on the internet. Every second. Every fourth person on the web is buying something right now. This month, over half a billion dollars will be spent. One day. One day. There won't be any paper money. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Virtually all internet traffic travels across the systems of one company, Cisco Systems. Empowering the Internet generation. Are you ready? What a fun Sunday afternoon watching college basketball and, and even the candy they eat at <laughs> Iowa State is red. <laughs> National Hockey Night tonight, 8 o'clock, Philadelphia and Colorado. Both teams in the playoff hunt. Patrick Waugh had recently added defenseman Ray Bork, who had an outstanding opening for his new club in Colorado with two goals. And a reminder, ESPN and ABC, the exclusive networks for all National Hockey League action. Thank <laughs> you. 
J.R. Raymond all over him, and then Pfizer goes out to try to help. Plenty of time on the shot clock, but he is going to be called for an offensive foul. And Nahara with a little uh, conversation with him and a little pop at the elbow. A little love tap coming back down the floor. A little emotion. Now, the interesting thing right here, and that's more acting than anything, but... But the interesting thing is the next foul of either one of these guys could change this game considerably. Yeah, it'll be interesting in neither. Right now, Pfizer not matching up against Nahara, which he hasn't really on his defensive end. Stevie Johnson has done that. Price, his three won't go. Nice job of hustle inside. And then Oklahoma has it taken away. And if Haywood comes up with that ball, Pfizer's at the rim. Haywood could go up strong, see if he could pick up a foul. If not, maybe make a layup. Stevie Johnson tips it back out to a teammate. Well, actually puts a palm down and says, let's calm it down to get another set. One here. of the more active players on the floor is always Stevie Johnson. It's his hands involved in a lot of plays. Maybe he shouldn't be in. Well, they, they miss on the switch, and then he misses the putback, or the, the lay-in, I should say. Well, smart play, because they attack Nahara, who was matched up against Stevie Johnson. He won't miss many layups, 68% field goal shoot. Tinsley with the steal off Raymond. <laughs> Got lucky there. Yeah, Heskett was coming right by. The three, not there. Stevie Johnson. Well, Stevie Johnson, 16 rebounds in the win on Friday against Baylor. 11 more rebounds yesterday against Oklahoma State. Only goes about 6-4. Nurse holds up, in and out, very unlucky on that one. That thing did everything but go down. Nahara now with six rebounds in the ball game. Sooners need a bucket. Well, had an open look, made a tough play. Tinsley robs him from behind. We mentioned he had 83 steals coming into this ball game, and I believe he's got three on the afternoon. Second on the team in block shots, and you can see why. The quickness. They say officially two steals for him, one in the first half, and now this one just a moment ago. Now the tough part for the Oklahoma bench was that J.R. Raymond had the open shot. Have to shoot him. Got Michael Nurse wide open, weak side. Pfizer, can you get up? with the ball any quicker and to be that size well, that's the thing that the elevation how quickly and how high he rises Pfizer with his first two points of the second half 13 minutes remaining in the championship and a turnover by Raymond and I think he's going to go to the bench yep. well the patience we talked about Marcus Pfizer on the double teams last year he would just try to force the issue this year patiently kicks it back out reestablishes himself the turnaround high, soft touch. Chuck, you've been watching the entire game think about this. You've seen him in every facet. You've seen him post up. You've seen him on the fast break. You've seen him take the ball and create off the dribble. And then you see the quick turnaround there in such a velvet touch. He's got it all. Well, he'll go outside sooner, sooner or later and probably shoot a three. Hit a couple threes Friday in his 38-point performance. Ten points or ten seconds on the shot clock, I should say. Look at Johnson go sky. And he'll miss it price not there Nahara eighth rebound for him and he'll knock down the putback working hard never stops State trying to make it a double for their athletic department. The women won the Big 12 championship last night, and the men trying to do it right now is Nahara trying to keep his team in it, but they're down by 17. We'll be right back. They say it's an extreme sport, but it only begins there. It's a sport that pushes performance to the limits and beyond. That's why when conditions lean to the extreme, Winners stay cool with Phillips 66 Injects 2-Cycle Motor Oil. It gives you maximum performance on race day and every day. 
to let the good times roar. Choose Phillips 66 Injects for your two-cycle engine. Proof again that Phillips 66 is the performance company. Hold it right there, Tooth Fairy. Hand over the bag and no one gets hurt. How do you plan on paying off your bills? A Conseco home equity loan can consolidate your debt into one low payment. Conseco, step up. and Sable, new from Mercury. Bill Pito back in the studio. The Big Ten title game, Illinois and Michigan State in the tourney title game for the second straight year. Mateen Cleaves and A.J. Granger play a game of catch. And eventually it's Cleaves with the easy lane. And Michigan State right now leads it by seven. Final minutes of the first half. Already championship of the Big Ten, the championship of the Big 12 right now. Iowa State trying to see if they can run off and hide from the Sooners of Oklahoma. 46 to 29, and look at the matchup so far. Well, I, even though the numbers are pretty equal, it hasn't been equal. Uh, Nahara has had a tough afternoon against Stevie Johnson, Marcus Pfizer, but nobody in an Oklahoma uniform has been able to guard him. Both players playing with three fouls. That shot well short, and Nurse with the reach in is going to be guilty of the foul there. And Ron, you, you wonder a little bit about Oklahoma wearing down just a tad. The overtime game and the, and the unbelievable contest they had Friday night against Missouri. All the jump shots this afternoon had been front iron for their jump shooters. And that's normally a sign of fatigue, isn't it? Uh -huh. Price, well, he thought better of taking the shot himself. Deals it off to Haywood, who scores. You can tell Pfizer again doesn't want to pick up a personal foul. Let Haywood go to the rim. Tim Cyclones, nope, they're going to bring Stevie Johnson out high for a screen. He'll not go back to it. Wow. Pfizer fouled by Haywood. A chance for a three-point play. Ron went back to the exact same play they ran before the timeout when Horton made the turnover. This time the pass a little bit better, has a little more English on it. The same position down low and the powerful finish. Boy, the turn inside. And again, they ran this play right before the timeout and they threw it out of bounds. Marcus wanted it again. Watch out, fellas. Watch out. It's coming up. Watch out. Rebound, rebound that. Completes the three point play and now 17 points. For the big junior out of Arcadia, Louisiana. And a tournament record in what he has done cumulative for the three games they played. Previous record held by Corey Brewer from the Oklahoma Sooner. Well, Johnson kind of short armed that one, and then a foul called against the Sooners. And probably this to me is as actually a bigger surprise than the fact that J.R. Raven has disappeared this afternoon. The fact that Nolan Johnson has not been a factor, and he had been the guy since midseason who would come on so strong. It really has. And averaging about 14 a game the second part of this season. Last week we saw him in Stillwater, had 21, had 21 again against Missouri Friday night. It just has been spectacular on the offensive end. Frustrating afternoon. I do think this Sooner team's a little tired. Six points for Horton. But you know, Ron, what Nolan Johnson gives Kelvin Sampson entering the NCAA tournament is another offensive weapon, and he has been the guy that they could go to down the stretch and has produced Nolan every time of, they've used him. I'm sorry. One of three on the day, two points, and the Cyclone fans smelling blood. 20-point margin. Way off the mark. Pfizer gets the rebound. Well, just again, solid fundamental defense by Stevie Johnson. Stevie Johnson trying to cut along the baseline. Brinsai Stone was right there to intercept it and knock it away. Price 
Tinsley didn't stay with him, and he gets the easy hoop there. Understanding Larry Eustace, as we do, we'll be pleased with that one. Well, very quickly, they're going to have a substitution. Number 12, Brandon Hawks. Hawkins will uh, check in, the freshman out of Fontana, California. Here comes Price. Another jump shot on the front end. Steve Wilmer right here in front of us, and uh, Morton looked at him and said, no, it was off him, and then he broke into a big smile, and Wilmer said, no, you're not getting me on this one. Well, Steve, <laughs> Morton is still laughing. He's, Steve, one of the better officials that you'll find in this country. Well, uh, <laughs> you like to see that instead of the grimace and uh, uh, the gritching. Under 10 minutes to play in this championship. Oklahoma trying to fight its way back, and they're good at doing that. Haywood backs it in and scores. Martin Ranzik off with his warm up, and he's going to check in. Pfizer, the quick turnaround, too hard, and Heskett with the rebound for the Sooners. Now, Sooners will push, see if they can get any early looks in their offense and not been able to this afternoon at all. Price just a little too hard. Well, Price trying to do his part. He's worked extremely hard. Nurse at the other end pulls up, bounces a couple of times, and the final won't go. Well, the lead was 20, and as we hit the nine-minute mark, they could cut it right here to a 14-point game. Or down to 12, I should say. And 14. It's all good block. Stevie Johnson gets the block and a timeout called by Oklahoma. Well, Kelly Newton puts it on the floor, trying to get to the basket. Looks like he has an open avenue, and Stevie Johnson, the senior, blocks it. Good hustle. What timeout made? Probably before any possession was there, but goes to Oklahoma. Well, the men's tournament selection special coming up at 6.30 Eastern. Chris Fowler's going to host this 90-minute show. Digger and uh, Quinn Buckner will be in the studio, and Dick Vitale will be along. He'll be live from Charlotte. He'll provide insight and analysis of the 64 teams who will compete for this year's NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. Also, Michelle Tapoya will report live from Indianapolis, which is, of course, the site of the selection committee meetings. There will be some happy teams tonight, Ron, and there will be some that... There should have, could have, would have, close, should have. Been. They know they got two hours oh, just about right now, John, before oh. the announcement is made. Tough situation. Nahara still on the bench for the Sooners. They get a basket here, and momentum and emotion may change a little bit to the Sooner side. So far, still been all Iowa State. Newton pops out, now Heskett, back to Newton. He'll put up a three and got it. About the same spot that won the ball game on Friday night. Now it's a 13-point game, and as we mentioned, the Sooners were down by 20 just a moment ago. Well, we've often talked about Oklahoma and the half-court sets, how good of shots and how good of looks they get. Kelly Newton, good standstill, rise-up shooter. Knocks one home, a local native. As I mentioned, wind out high school here in Kansas City, Kansas. Just across the river from Kip Burita. Rancic, Lizer wanted to go back to it. You know, when your best player around gets triple teams, someone's going to be open, either a cutter or a guy shooting open jump shots. Rancic getting bumped around, and they call him for travel. 13 turnovers against the Cyclones. Well, did they decide to do a little walkabout themselves once they got up by 20 points? That'll be interesting here. This is seven unanswered by Oklahoma. Turnovers even this afternoon. 
and the Sooner partisans up and cheering. Part of the crowd of 19,100. Every session has been a sellout all four days. And what a great job Kansas City has done once again in this tournament. Good hustle by Stone. Heskett for three. Haywood hustling. He goes down, and Pfizer needs to get rid of the ball, and he's going to pick up his fourth. <laughs> I know he's talented, but Horton for three. Pfizer fouled by Stone. Well, close. Horton trying to knock one in for deep to get their team going again. Pfizer again with inside position. Naharaj checks back into the lineup and uh, some good minutes from Haywood. He did some uh, yeoman's work underneath on the boards. Now such a battle to get back into the game. You've got to make all those open jump shots you get. You've got to make them around the rim. Take a look at Pfizer's numbers. Just another day for this junior. I found it interesting how many Big 12 coaches start talking about, oh, he'd be the second player taken, third, I think he ought to go out. <laughs> <laughs> All of them were talking about it. <laughs> He's got 18 in this championship game. Had 19 yesterday and, what, 38 the game before that. Average about 33 down the stretch of the season. Last five ball games with big wins over Texas and Oklahoma State, which basically won the title. Sooners trying desperately to come back. Can they do it? They got 731 down by 15. 90 years ago, fans thrilled to the exploits of baseball's power hitters, who belted as many as 9, 10, or even 12 homers a season. The game has changed, and so has the way we watch it, with MLB Extra Innings on DirecTV Sports. Tune to Channel 243 and catch the 2000 MLB Extra Innings season for just $129. This year, one of these guys could hit number 12 by May 12. Be there with MLB Extra Innings. This year's comic mobster piece is on direct ticket. He's an English gentleman, she's an Italian princess, and they're in Smile. for a royal wedding. Free FBI! My father's head of the Graziosi crime family. Wow. So uh, who's your friend? This is uh, Mickey Blue Eyes. Mickey Blue Eyes. Mickey Blue. Yeah. Rent Goodfellas Casino Godfather 123. Mickey Blue Eyes on direct ticket. Try this. Forget about it. Hey, forget about it. Only on direct TV. How do you prove you're the king of college hoops? Just log on to ESPN.com and enter the NCAA Tournament Challenge presented by Pizza Hut and Courtyard by Marriott. To enter, fill out your brackets, compete against thousands of other fans, make the right picks, and you may be crowned king of college hoops. Log on to ESPN.com and you can win a trip for two to the 2001 Men's NCAA Final Four with accommodations from Courtyard by Marriott and 64 big New Yorker pizzas from Pizza Hut. The NCAA Tournament Challenge presented by Pizza Hut and Courtyard by Marriott now on ESPN.com. Some of the young Sooner faithful on ahead. 53-38 our score. Coming up at 5 Eastern, the NCAA Women's Tournament Selection Special presented by State Farm. It's hosted by Robin Roberts. This show will exclusively unveil the 64 teams of the Women's 2000 NCAA Tournament. Jay Billis and Jerry Jones provide analysis. ESPN, the exclusive home of Women's NCAA Basketball Tournament. The well, now making the announcement, we have 731 left in the game about the trophy presentation. And as we mentioned, of the 19,100 on hand here, or still another sellout at Kemper Arena, just a large percentage of this crowd is Iowa State, and should they hold on, this is going to be quite a raucous trophy presentation. But Nahara says it's not over till it's over. Not over yet, and expect the Sooners to try around to make another run here. Down yeah. 13, they've got to get a couple of defensive stops. And they've really had not many easy looks on their offensive end. I don't know how he would say it in Spanish, but right now, Eduardo saying, let's don't put any chairs in the wagon. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Stay with the zone defense. They've been more effective 
Coach Stevie Johnson's been Stevie. quiet in the second half offensively. Gets a couple there. Well, he's attacked Nahara because Nahara's in the foul trouble with three, and Stevie's missed the two layup attempts prior to that, but that one he converted. Led the Big 12 in field goal percentage at about 68. Doesn't shoot many outside the paint. Three of seven on the day for a total of six. Good. Iowa State guards have really covered up the guards of Oklahoma. Well, that's number four. That's number four on Pfizer. One of the are two of the things that Nahara does as well as anybody. He does jump into you when he when he shoots, and you better be in a good position or you'll get the foul every time, like right here. Yeah, how quickly See? he can establish and go. And exactly. The crowd obviously you can hear behind us not agreeing with that one. They replay it on the scoreboard up above. The other thing that he does extremely well, oh, John, is when somebody is siding him defensively he comes to your body like a magnet continues to dribble and you get the push off foul every time well as uh, like any good offensive player in the low post you want to feel the defender you want to feel the body you know where to spin it right and like you said Eduardo what he does extremely well is when he establishes a position if the defender's not there he's going to turn and go in a hurry rarely can def the defensive player get great position with 14 points, four to five from the free throw line. So Pfizer with four fouls goes to the bench. Nahara still on the floor. He's working with three. And we'll see how long Larry Eustace decides to keep his big All-American on the bench. Well, the score is now for Iowa State in the line of court. Jump shooter, Michael Nurse, jump shooter, Stevie Johnson inside around the rim, but really not a post-up player. Look how far out that defense has come to because they're not concerned about Rancic, who was in the ballgame, as the only true inside player. And Martin used to be a pretty good scorer before he came back off the injury. Well, he tried to deal that right into traffic, jump ball, and it's going to stay right here with Iowa State. Smart move by Larry Eustace. now gets Jamal Tinsley back in the lineup. Now Tinsley with the basketball creates so much for his teammates. This right here is Cantrell Horton goes inside the paint. Difficult pass and really nowhere to go. Iowa State fortunate to keep possession. The line. Stevie Johnson gets banged by Haywood. Third foul on Jamil. Marcus has to sit. Wait and watch. Kelvin hoping there's something left in the tank here. And the clock now. Huge enemy of Oklahoma as Johnson knocks down the first one. Under six minutes left in the championship. Can Iowa State win it? Well, it has been a very long time since the Cyclones have carried home at the conference uh, banner. Both regular season and tournament. Soft touch by Stevie. Crowd gets back into it. Stolen by Tinsley. You're right. He really does. <laughs> that little crossover right just, there. He just has great hate. <laughs> uh, he makes that steal. Uh, he will communicate on the floor with the opposition. We'll talk a little bit. You are right there. It's like he feels like he is in the playground with his buddies, and yeah. he can do all of that. I watched him in practice the other day, and normally in practice, players get to do a few more things more loosely than they would on the court. And I marveled at his ability to handle the ball and do some things for fun. And you don't find many that can handle the basketball, and it's just part of their hand. You don't understand when it goes from one side to the other, it doesn't look like it bounces or anything. You think, well, how'd he get it to there? <laughs> Under five minutes left in the championship. The Cyclones and their fans knowing that it is close. They can just hold on against a tough, always Oklahoma Sooner team. Martin Ranzik, how about the unselfish play? One by Horton, two by Stevie Johnson. Shot clock went all the way down, only two seconds left on it. Pretty good possession. Hey, 
Wood battles for it. Rancic with the outlet pass, but Newton's going to be right there to pick it off. Well, there's the looseness we talked about in Martin's game sometimes. Didn't have to throw it deep. But now all of a sudden, instead of having possession of the ball, Oklahoma makes a steal and gets a basket. Well, the crowd booing because Nahara scored to hoop it and knocked the ball away from the inbounding guard. He's got 17. Iowa State, Ron, can spread you. They have three extremely good ball handlers on the floor. Tinsley, your support. Stevie Johnson, very good also. Stevie lost the ball. It looked like a good pass, but he got that knocked away. It went right to Horton. Just inside the line. Shot is off the mark. And saved by Haywood. Pfizer prepares to check back in as we hit the 335 mark. Price with the spin move, not there, gets his own rebound and follow. You cannot say enough about this oh, pressure he's had. He really has given more than 100% today. He has kept it burning. So we'll hold it right here in Iowa State with a 13-point margin. We well, talked about Hollis Price and how well he's played. We talked about his season-ending play in the last few weeks, how good he's been for this team. Only a freshman. He's developed throughout the season. And he is one of the suitors that have played well today. Without him, they would be in uh, a whole bunch of trouble. Well, in case you just walked into the living room, the storyline on this one, Oklahoma 31% from the field. A season average of 46. Nahara struggled in the first half, continued to battle. But look at Iowa State. Points in the paint, 36 OU 22. And Pfizer scored the first six of the game. He has 19 points. He also has nine rebounds. And Marcus Pfizer back in the ballgame for personal fouls. Pfizer against Nahara. Marcus uh, showing us a little bit of everything. And he has. He's, uh, <laughs> he's uh, you know, what, what do you want me to advertise? He's uh -huh. done it. He's handled. He's shot. He's created. Well, here's the creator right here, Tinsley. Nurse has it taken away by Newton, but he also fouled him. Ten team fouls against the Sooners. Well, take a look at the physical play inside. Eduardo Naharach is trying to move one big body out of the way. Outstanding free throw shooting team this Iowa State team is. About 70%, as is Oklahoma. Nurse, a 71% free throw shooter, averages 12 a ball game, and that's what he's got. Let's take a timeout. 3.02 left to play. It is 61 46, and the Cyclones are on the lip of the cup. It's the fastest growing sport in the country. A sport defined by performance, determination, and teamwork. The pros know. When conditions lean to the extreme, you gotta go with the performer. And the 66 team is driven to perform. To protect your engine start to finish, drive with Phillips 66 Trop Arctic Premium Quality Motor Oil. Proof again that Phillips 66 is the performance company. I'm always coming up with great new promotions for 7-Up. Like this one. I ask people to send me pictures of their cans. Let's take a look. Oh! <laughs> Look like two big Christmas hams. <laughs> it shows you can. Look at the backyard on this fella. <sighs> that about ends the uh, first annual 7-Up Show Us Your Can contest. Next time I'll be more specific. Mom? Dan, just because I make a few suggestions from time to time and I care about organization doesn't make me a control freak, okay? Kenny, I think you need help. Miss, we're gonna need some napkins over here, please. ESPN's presentation of Championship Week is presented by 7-Up and your local 7-Up Bobbler. Make 7-Up yours. And in part by Phillips 66, the performance company. And by Mountain Grown Folgers Coffee, the best part of waking up. 61. 
down to 46. Iowa State leading Oklahoma. When's the last time the Cyclones won it? Take a look. Well, 1996. Dedrick Willoughby led his ball club in here against Kansas. And what an outstanding game that was. Jacques Vaughn will have a chance at putting the Jayhawks back in, and you can see the excitement by the Cyclones as they won the Big E title 56-55 over the Jayhawks. And look at Paul Shirley on the sideline. Foot injury. They hope uh, he'll be ready next week, but that is a question mark. Chant goes up, let's go State. They can feel it, and now it is within their grasp. Iowa State trying to complete what has been really a miracle season. Some people back in the preseason picked them as low as the very bottom in a conference race. Well, we know far better than that now, but nobody expected Larry Eustacey's ball club to turn it around the way they had in this 99 and 2000 season. It says a lot about a guy like Marcus Pfizer. Last year, all Big 12 first team this year player of the year not only that but he was also on the most improved team this year so oh boy he went between Johnson's legs you see that Nolan Johnson playing defense Tinsley put it between Nolan's legs get two guys that grew up playing against each other Johnson picks up his fifth personal foul Eustacey's trying to figure out what he just saw <laughs> Nolan fouls out two points, four rebounds. Well below par for him. And I think, you know, Tinsley, he does look upon it at times as an individual competition, and he is back on the playground. Watch this replay again. Watch what he does to Nolan to foul him out. Boom, right between the guy's legs, defend. We said he can handle it, and he's not bashful to do a lot of different things. He will have some turnovers once in a while. It's fun to watch. Tensley now with 11 points. He's got five rebounds and six assists. Newton for three. Got it. Yesterday's ball game, Tinsley, 18 points, 12 rebounds, five assists, three steals. The bad note was he also had six turnovers. So it's a 12-point ball game with 209 left. This to me one of the most exciting days in all of college athletics. In fact, may be the most waiting for the tournament seeds to go out, the teams that are on the bubble, and the women's selection special presented by State Farm coming up and the men later this afternoon. ESPN will have uh, right on top of coverage for both. And in fact, they'll have the exclusive coverage of the women's tournament as it unfolds. And that is almost immediately following this ball game here, the Big 12 Championship championship in Kansas City Hilton magic well it's like this one today or this weekend has been Hilton South 19,100 fans on hand and just a huge majority of those are here cheering for the Cyclones <laughs> Pfizer triple teamed still has it Nurse is fouled by Newton. Nurse goes to the foul line, two of two this afternoon. Kelvin Sampson trying to lengthen this game. See if Iowa State can make free throws. Stretch it out. Get the clock stopped. Tinsley had made two, and Kelly Newton made a three-pointer, so they're just trying to slowly get back in this thing. of 19 now for the foul line this afternoon for the Cyclones. Larry Stacey's ball club really putting on a strong performance. It's like, okay, we have done our prep work and now we're ready for the big show and they're playing very well going into the tournament as Newton knocks down still another three-pointer. Yeah, second one in a row. Rinsai Stone picks up that foul. Very little time off the clock. 139 left. Talked about Kelly Newton and the heroics on Friday night. Because of his jump shot, that is why they're playing today. 
Yeah, Kelly said uh, after the ball game, and his quotes were, you, know, you, you grow up thinking about, hey, I'd love to play over there in a place like uh, Kemper Arena, which is just almost a stone's throw from from where uh, he played his high school ball, uh -huh. and get an opportunity to win a big ball game. Well, he did just that for the home folks. Well, down one late in that game, he ball fakes, knocks in the three-pointer, put him up two. And then gets the rebound, gets fouled, and makes the two free throws to win an overtime against Missouri. Well, we've just been told officially this man, the MVP of this year's Big 12 tournament, Marcus Pfizer. He has set a tournament record for a number of points scored for the entire sessions. And his team now with a 13-point margin, and we're about to hit a minute and a half left as Stone will score for the Sooners. comes in a hurry, doesn't he? <laughs> well, he does. And Newton is looking up saying, you know, guys, I ran in front of a truck. I gave up my life. And then they hit me with the foul. All right, look at the big guy coming. Kelly Newton doesn't want to quite slide another step. I mean, let's... Oh, Kelly weighs 190. And they say Marcus weighs 265. That's give or take and probably uh, giving a few. Hey, what you want to tell Kelly? Hey, we want to see you play next week. <laughs> Get ready for NCAA play. Ron, I thought Oklahoma looked a little tired this afternoon. Yeah, they weren't as sharp as they've been the last few weeks. They came into Kansas City as hot as any team in the Big 12 themselves and Iowa State and both played outstanding to get to Eduardo Nahara heads to the bench last time that the people in Kansas City will see him in a senior a sooner uniform a senior Heskett nope Price hustles out and knocked out of bounds by Tinsley there's Eduardo Eddie standing up and looking at the clock 116 this uh, kind of a helpless feeling with his team down by 13 uh, always a major contributor and even when he's not playing he's out there and hollering for his teammates and trying to get them to do a little better well he'll be ready for next weekend this team last year sweet 16 they upset Arizona that first round and beat UNC Charlotte the second only to lose to Michigan State in the sweet 16 so Kelvin will have his group ready. Not an easy team to prepare for. They play extremely hard. They're tough. And Larry Eustachy, they'll sit back and find out what seed they're going to be. John, we've been in this league all year long as we are every year. And I don't think any of the Big 12 seeds, regardless of where the teams go, I don't think any of them are going to be uh, easy prey. They're going to be uh, a load to handle. Well, we talk about these two teams, Oklahoma State, Eddie Sutton's ball club outstanding. You talk about the guys from Texas didn't play well yesterday, but Rick Barnes. We'll have his guys ready. Chris Bibb and Benecki. They've got a chance to be a sweet 16 team or further. Kansas. Roy Williams figuring out what they've got to do to get ready. And then Missouri's probably on that bubble trying to figure out if uh, they're in or not. If they're in, biggest thing there's some win. sharp shooters going to be coming to the NCAA. That's for sure. <laughs> Price crowd is up and cheering as we hit the one minute mark left in this one rebounded by nurse and it's going to be Iowa State to win the championship of 99 and 2000 Kevin Sampson told his guys no more fouls. What a season for Iowa State Big 12 regular season champ conference 30 champ player of the year coach of the year. Newcomer of the year at Tinsley. They will not be an easy opponent for anybody that has not seen a play in NCAA. Price at the other end will score it. Fans from Ames, Ron, got what they wanted. A women's championship and a men's championship in uh, less than 24-hour period. Down to four, down to three, and it's Iowa State to win the Big 12 tournament.
So the final score, Iowa State 70 and Oklahoma 58. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com, part of the Go Network, Go.com. Our congratulations to Marcus Pfizer, the MVP of this year's tournament, and to the Iowa State Cyclones. For John Sunbold and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Ron Franklin saying so long from Kansas City. Let's go to Bill Pito.